Hello students, in trick number 180, I had told you some basic concepts of arithmetic progression and now in trick number 181, I am going to solve a particular type of question of arithmetic progression which is very frequently asked in board examination of class 10th. So this question concerns the problem when we are given two terms of an arithmetic progression and we need to find the value of the first term and the common difference. So for illustration I will take one example now. Suppose we are given that the 8th term of an AP is 37 and the 15th term of the same AP is 65. Now these are the two terms which are given to us and we need to find the first term and the common difference of the AP. Now, obviously when the students at class 10 solve these questions, they will solve it by making two linear equations and then finding the value of A and D by using elimination method of solving a pair of linear equations. So that method is good and fetches you good, good marks in board exams but at competitive level you need to have some shortcut up your sleeves. So first I tell you the method through which we can solve this using the traditional approach. Now you see A8, the formula for 8th term of an arithmetic progression is A plus 7D. The coefficient of D is always 1 less than the term number. So if we had have A8 here, then we will have 7 as the coefficient of D. And term number 15 similarly will be A plus 14D. Now given that A plus 7D that is the 8th term is 37 here and A plus 14D that is the 15th term is 65. We will subtract these two because already the coefficient of A is same. So we will subtract, we will change the sign of the second equation and then cancel A. Then 7D minus 14D will give us minus 7D and 37 minus 65 will give us minus 28. So D will come out to be minus cancels out and 28 upon 7 that is 4. Then we will substitute this value in any of these two equations. So we will take the first equation. So the first equation becomes A plus 7D, D is 4 equal to 37. So A plus 28 equal to 37. So here we have the answer for A that is 37 minus 28 which is equal to 9. So you see the value of A and D is obtained through this traditional approach but for shortcut you can solve this in just two or three steps. Now what is the shortcut? First of all take the second largest term that is A8 is the smaller term and A15 is the larger term. So just reduce the coefficient of a this uh, d. You know this coefficient is always less than this that is 1 less. So what we do is if I will write the question here again a8 is 37 and a15 is 65. Now see this is 15 so I will write 14d. This is 8 so I will write 7d. I have reduced them each by 1 and then I will take the difference and on the right side I will take the difference of the right hand sides. So 15d becomes 14d, 8 becomes 7d and 65 minus 37 as it is. Now this is your first step, your answer is ready, d obtained is 4 so which is solved here in just 3 or 4 seconds. Now for finding the value of A, we need to do the same steps. So just find the value of A as 
take this 37 and subtract this 70 from this so 7 times d d is 4 so 37 minus 28 that will give us 9 so see the number of steps which we have used in traditional approach and through the shortcut we can find this in 5, five to 6 seconds only let us try and understand this using one more example say we have the fifth term of an AP given as minus 136 and the twelfth term of the same AP given as minus 94 now we need to find the value of A and D just as I told you see here we have 12 so write 11 D here we have 5 so write 4 D subtract here we have minus 94 subtract here we have minus 136 so this becomes 7 D equal to so minus 94 plus 136 so here you get 42 so D comes out to be 42 by 7 that is 6 so one step and we get the value of D now for finding the value of A just consider this minus 136 and subtract 4D from this D is 6 so minus 136 minus 24 so answer is minus 160 so both the answers are there D is 6 and A is minus 160 Likewise, you can solve a variety of problems related to this concept. Given two terms, you can find the value of A and D. Final example and then we will conclude this trick. Say we have the ninth term of an AP as 166 and the 20th term as 254. Now let us find the value of D first. Here we have 20, so 19D. Here we have 9, so 8D. Subtract 254 minus 166. This will come out to be 11D. And when you subtract 254 and 166, you get 88. So D is 8. So one value is obtained. Now for finding the value of A, you have 166 minus this is 9 so a d d is 8 so 166 minus 64 102 is the first term so you get the value of a as 102 and the value of d as 8 so you see knowledge of a small shortcut will enable you to solve this problem in 5 to 6 seconds in our subsequent tricks we will we'll be doing some more questions based on arithmetic progression and through the practice of these concepts for 8 to 10 minutes you will be able to solve these types of problems in a very short interval of time. So keep watching the channel and share and subscribe the videos if you like it.